The all-new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado is the beast. Here's why. Toyota has made a name for itself when it comes to making off-road vehicles and SUVs. But with its latest offering in the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, it seems like the Japanese automaker is set to outdo itself. In today's video, we'll review the all-new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado and why it remains one of the best off-road vehicles available today. The Land Cruiser is making a triumphant return and it's coming back with a bang. Toyota had us all fooled when they said it was gone for good, but surprise surprise, the off-road legend is making a comeback. Introducing the all-new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 250 Series, and let us tell you, it's a beast that's ready to take on anything. Toyota recently pulled back the curtains on the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, and boy, does it look boxy and bold, all set to conquer both the off-road trails and the tech world. And here's the kicker, this time around, the Land Cruiser Prado isn't messing around with its underpinnings. In the past, the Prado used to ride on a unique body-on-frame platform that was shared with other Toyota favorites like the Tacoma Pickup and the Forerunner four-wheel drive sold in the US. But guess what? This time, it's stepping up its game and borrowing the solid foundation from the 300 series Land Cruiser. They're calling it the TNGAF platform, which is just fancy talk for Toyota new global architecture with an F added in to let us know it's still all about that rugged body-on-frame construction. Under the hood, it's still rocking that trusty ladder frame along with a strut-based independent front suspension and a live rear axle, all perfect for tackling the roughest terrains. And speaking of size, the new Prado isn't backing down either. It's grown over the generations, and this 250 series is no exception. Compared to the old Prado, it's 100mm longer, 95mm wider, and 20mm taller. Now, that might not sound like much, but trust us when we say it adds up. With a wheelbase of 2,850mm, it's only 60mm shorter than its bigger sibling, the 300 series Land Cruiser. This means the Land Cruiser Prado 250 series is nearly as large as the 300 series, and it's definitely closer in size to the previous generations. With regards to the engine, the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser is shaking things up under the hood, especially if you're in the UK and Western Europe. They're bringing in a fresh powertrain that's all about a perfect blend of efficiency and power. Get ready to meet the 2.8 liter 1GD FTV turbo diesel engine, the same powerhouse you'll find purring under the hood of the Toyota Helix. This four-cylinder wonder is all about striking that sweet spot between sipping fuel smartly and delivering a serious punch of performance. It cranks out an impressive 201 bhp, ensuring you've got plenty of power under your right foot. Now, let's talk about how this power gets to the ground. Toyota has paired this 2.8-liter gem with a spanking new 8-speed direct-shift automatic transmission. That's right, 8 gears to play with, which translates to smooth shifts and a dynamic driving experience. And guess what? This combo means the 2024 Land Cruiser is no pushover when it comes to towing. It's ready to tackle loads of up to a hefty 3,500 kilograms without breaking a sweat. And here's where things get really interesting. If you're all about the latest and greatest tech, you'll want to keep an eye out for early 2025. That's when an electrified version of this Land Cruiser will make its debut. Imagine taking that same 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine and giving it a boost with some 48 volt mild hybrid technology. This means an even more efficient and eco-friendly ride without skimping on the Land Cruiser's legendary power. When it comes to ground clearance, the 2024 Land Cruiser Prado is packing a respectable 221 millimeters of space under it, or 210 millimeters while on the move. That's okay for the course for a vehicle of this size, giving you a solid foundation to tackle various terrains. At least, that's what the specs say on paper. And for those all-important off-road angles, they're sitting comfortably in the middle of the pack. The approach angle is about 31 degrees, which should let you take on those steep inclines without breaking a sweat. The ramp over angle comes in at 25 degrees, which helps you navigate uneven surfaces without getting caught up in the middle. Finally, the departure angle clocks in at 21 degrees, ensuring you can smoothly leave challenging terrain behind. Now, let's talk spare wheels and fuel capacity. 
In the past, the Land Cruiser Prado has given you the option of a rear-mounted spare wheel, which has also made room for some extra fuel storage. Historically, this setup has allowed for a pretty impressive 180 liters of fuel in the 120 series Prado and 150 liters in the outgoing 150 series. But here's the scoop, Toyota hasn't confirmed if the new Prado will continue offering this rear-mounted spare wheel option. They've let us know that the new model is opting for a full-size, underslung spare attached to the tailgate. Oh, and speaking of the tailgate, it's now hinged at the top instead of the side, which might hint at some changes in store. However, there's some good news, the new model is getting a handy glass window that can be opened separately from the door, which can come in pretty handy when you're loading and unloading stuff. In the previous Prado, picking the rear-mounted spare wheel also meant you could have an extra 63-liter fuel tank on board, giving you a total of 150 liters of fuel-carrying capacity. Unfortunately, the exact fuel tank capacity for the 2024 model is still up in the air, and Toyota hasn't spilled the beans just yet. While Toyota hasn't spilled all the beans, we've managed to unearth some juicy details about its off-road capabilities and what's happening under the hood. First things first, Toyota hasn't officially given us the exact crawl ratio of this brand new Land Cruiser Prado. However, with its upgrade from a 6-speed automatic transmission to a slick 8-speed 1, it's clear that Toyota is cooking up some serious off-road potential. That extra gear range means it is gearing up, pun intended, to handle those rough terrains with finesse. Just for comparison's sake, the current gen Land Cruiser Prado's crawl ratio in first gear low range is a respectable 36 to 1. Now, that's the kind of power that lets you take on challenging trails without breaking a sweat. Now, here's the scoop on the four-wheel drive system itself. The new Prado is sticking with a full-time four-wheel drive setup, which means it's ready to tackle anything you throw its way, be it pavement or rocky paths. And guess what? It seems like it has kept the same mechanical style center differential that its predecessor rocked. This particular setup is also shared with the Land Cruiser 300 series. This approach sets the Land Cruiser Prado apart from some of its four-wheel drive rivals. While vehicles like the Ford Everest, Land Rover Defender, and Nissan Patrol opt for electronically controlled clutch packs to connect the front and rear wheels, the Prado keeps it old school with its proven mechanical differential. Another exciting new addition is a front sway bar disconnect, a little trick borrowed from the likes of the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and the Gladiator Rubicon. But what does this mean for your off-road escapades? Let us break it down. Imagine this, you're out there driving through rugged terrain and your Prado's front sway bar disconnects. Sounds like a party trick, right? Well, it's more than that. When this disconnect happens, it actually eases up the restrictions in your front suspension. Translation? Your wheels get to move and groove more freely, which is a major plus for off-road wheel articulation. In simple terms, your Prado gets to flex and twist its way through challenging obstacles without missing a beat. And there you have it. The all-new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado in its full glory. Let us know what you think about the vehicle in the comments section, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.